Welcome to the Line Array Calculator 3 feature update video for version 3.6. This quick overview will highlight some of the new features and improvements introduced in this update. A new option has been added to the Mapping Mode drop-down to help you visualize your prediction data. Along with views like SPL mapping where a color plot shows different frequencies and their expected coverage, and the SPL attenuation view that shows several frequencies and their relative attenuation, a new option called SPL over distance will show a graph with SPL on the left axis and distance on the horizontal axis. The size and color for each venue plane above is matched in the graph below with architectural and virtual planes ignored. If you set venue planes to use different colors, it can help to identify differences in areas with overlapping planes. To change the color or plane type, jump back to the venue mode and change it in the plane options here. In this new prediction mode, there are a few different ways we can visualize SPL over distance. One way is to look at a pair of frequencies and their relationship to each other as the sound propagates across the listening area. To achieve the goal of a consistent experience for as much of the audience as possible, we are looking for a constant distance between the two frequencies across the venue. Changes can be made to focus, display angles, and DSP tools in the line array control panel to further optimize the result. Another way we can look at this mode is to look at an average of a frequency range. This essentially changes the prediction generator to a band past pink noise and we can look at the average expected result of that output. This would be similar to what we would expect if we walked the venue with an SPL meter. In either mode, you can show or hide attenuation lines to clearly see minus three, minus six, or minus nine dB points referenced from the loudest seat in the venue. If you want to hide the prediction details pane to make the venue area larger, toggle this new triangle icon here. This feature is especially useful for lower resolution screens. Previous versions of LAC have had the ability to calculate electronically steered arrays or EDS for distributed subwoofer arrays. In 3.6, we've added EDS support for suspended subwoofer arrays. Now in suspended subwoofer array mode where gain was shown, we now have delay. While the delays can manually be inputted, this section here allows you to input the desired coverage angle and whether you want to have the coverage be symmetric or have an up or down angle. In this example venue, if we calculate the predicted response of the array without any EDS, you can see that we are overshooting the arena floor. In the symmetric example, we could open the overall coverage of the array by setting the angle to 50 degrees and clicking Apply Delays. You will see that LAC calculates the delay times and inputs them into each circuit. In this symmetric case, the zero time is in the center of the array. If we recalculate the venue, you will see that the coverage is better. As we play with different coverage angles, we can get our venue to have a better response and improve the front to back consistency of the predicted coverage. In our second example, we have a deep venue where the flown cardioid array was limited in trim height. Running the prediction without any delay steering yields a result that looks like this, with the back of the venue getting far less than a consistent result. For this case, we will select up as the coverage direction, set the angle to 25 degrees, and hit apply delays. We can see that the zero millisecond time is at the bottom of the array and as we move up, we are creating an arc to steer the lobe up. When we hit calculate to see the expected result, we can see an improvement in overall front to back coverage. In our third example, we will show a subwoofer array that is mounted high and out of sight lines in this arena. This array is configured as an omnidirectional array. Looking at the array without EDS, we see that most of the energy is going to the sides, especially as we go up in frequency. This configuration is putting as much energy into the roof as it is into the seating area and could use some optimization. By choosing down from the menu and trying 60 degrees, 
we can click apply delays and see the top box now has zero milliseconds and the rest of the array increases in delay as we move down it. Calculating this, we can see an improvement in coverage consistency in all of the seating areas. As we look at other frequencies, we can see the lobe is pushed down and it dramatically reduces the amount of energy going up into the ceiling where we do not want it to go. Just as with the ground subwoofer array mode, the system changes and settings applied in this mode can also be imported into Performance Manager and automatically uploaded into iTech amplifiers. This version of LAC includes improved center of gravity calculations that better incorporate the cable weight added by the user. Especially useful for calculating single point configurations, LAC now calculates cable weight attached to the designated cable pick location on the array frame. This small change now allows for the array to be focused at a specific place in the venue in mapping mode, and then the cable weight can be applied after the array has been aimed without changing any focus. The cable weight is calculated and correctly applied to the array's center of gravity, adjusting the pick point location in real time. All array frames, except for suspension bars, support this new feature. A few changes have been made to improve the array link workflow. A new setting in application options adds the ability to automatically populate the project details section of LAC. This makes it easier to get file details from LAC into ArrayLink. Also, we've added the ability to import ground stacked arrays from LAC into ArrayLink, making your ground deployments even easier. As we continue to improve and refine our software solutions, we encourage you to pass along any additional questions or feature requests. If you'd like to find more education resources, please be sure to click subscribe on our YouTube channel and check out jblpro.com edu for links to additional resources, training calendars, and more videos. Thanks for watching.